I've had this hunch now already for years that visual note-taking is an incredible tool for remembering things, especially if you're dyslexic. And now I have these studies to back it up. So without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. In case you're new, my name is Arie. I'm a dyslexic in the field of education studies. And I'm gonna go about this topic by first showing you some of the research results. I'm gonna tell you why this drawing slash visual note-taking is so effective. Then I'm gonna tell you why especially dyslexics should try it out. And at the end, I'm gonna give you a little summary. So in 2008, researchers of the University of Waterloo came out with a study called the surprisingly powerful benefit of drawing on memory. And there they found that drawing increases your likelihood of remembering something. And they proved this in terms of words, but also in terms of definitions and pictures. So what exactly did they do? The participants got 40 seconds time to either write down the word that they were supposed to remember multiple times, or they were supposed to draw it out. And um, this was done with multiple words. And then after a while, they were asked what they were able to remember. And this was the proportion of uh, what they were able to remember when they were writing. And this was the proportion that they were able to remember when they were drawing. So this almost doubles. So we see that it is a lot more effective if you want to remember something to draw it out versus writing it. These results were replicated. So they tried it out, for example, in a lecture hall where they came out with similar results. And they also did different versions of this experiment. And uh, in all these different conditions, the drawing version came out as the better method for remembering something. So from the results of this study, we know that it works. Drawing improves memory. However, why exactly is that the case? Uh, they thought about a solution or a answer to this question, and this is what they came up with. They claim that the first factor in the effectiveness of drawing is the actual motoric act of drawing a picture. We know that things that we do, that we act out, are generally better remembered. So they say that this is one uh, contributing factor to the effectiveness. The second element that they came up with has to do with the elaborative nature of drawing, meaning that you need to come up with an idea how you want to transform a word, a concept, into a picture. And that process will help you remember that concept better. Lastly, when you are finished drawing, you end up with a picture. And we also know that pictures generally are better remembered than words. When we draw, all these three elements work together. And this is how these researchers explain this enormous boost in memory performance. At the beginning of this video, I told you that I think that this strategy is especially effective for dyslexics. And the reason I think that has to do with research that has been done on the working memory of dyslexics. This visual representation shows you all the different parts of the working memory. The phonological loop, also called the inner voice, is responsible for written and spoken information. In contrast, the visual spatial sketchpad, the inner eye, is responsible for visual content. And what we know from research is that while the phonological loop in dyslexics is impaired, the visual spatial sketchpad is not. So by drawing out these concepts, by using visual note-taking, we dyslexics might be able to use this part of our working memory that functions best. And I've done this throughout my studies and it helped me out tremendously. So I would highly recommend that you try it out. Okay, so let's sum it up. If you go from regular notes to drawing out your notes, you'll be able to remember around double the amount. And if you're dyslexic, chances are that this will help you even to a greater extent. So yeah. That's what I wanted to tell you, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider sharing the video or giving it a like, and uh, see you in the next video.